Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the resting squat. I'm not resting right now. <laughs> <laughs> So the resting squat position is really important because we spend a lot of time sitting. So we spend a lot of time in this position here. The hips get, start to get locked in, the knees and the ankles. We're in this like 90 degree position of the hips and the body will always become good at what we practice most. So if we spend a lot of time here, the body's going to start to lock into this position to be comfortable here. What we want to do is spend time in the resting squat. So Jenny's going to demonstrate this all the way down, completely passive and relaxed. We want to spend as much time here as we can. Maybe it doesn't look like this. So Jenny's gonna give us a demonstration of what it might look like. So stand back up and then come back down. Maybe it looks like this. And this is far, as far down as you can go in the beginning. It'll slowly start to increase. We can go down, 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 down. Maybe it looks like this, this is perfect. If it looks like this and the heels, you go all the way down and the heels have to come off the ground, what we can do is use a little tool. We can just grab a book or a couple of books and sit them behind your heels. Place the heels down. And what, it'll, what this will do is just allow you a little bit more range in the ankles. So you can actually sit in this position a little bit more comfortably in the beginning. Once you've spent some time there and it feels okay, we can remove the books and find a nice resting squat position. 